Now guys, we are back at it again. I went and grabbed a Mally locally. They actually did have one with the wear sleeve. Unfortunately, this wear sleeve looks like shit uh, compared to the one that I put on. So we're gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna pull that one off, obviously. I wasn't going to whether it looked better or not. But you guys will see. Right here, we got the new sleeve in. And I cleaned all the gasket stuff off. And this is the tool that I have to pound these in from the back. Uh, if you're going to try to put these in through the front, good luck. They're a pain in the ass. So what I like to do is I'll use this to put it down in. And sometimes it'll end up crooked. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll use that on the front to pound it in to make it even. And then we will come back in here with the depth. This has the depth already set into it so you don't have to worry. And everything's good there, so I'm going to get this whole thing sprayed out, and then we are going to get this thing installed. We got the cam bolts in, torque to 18 foot-pounds. So, I'm going to get this cleaned up a little bit better, throw our RTV in it, and then we are going to head out. Alright, belt is routed, everything's good here. I'm going to give everything like kind of a slight little wipe down with a rag, because we got a little bit of oil here. Um, I did kind of like scrape some of it. So this thing's going to get pressure washed at some point once we verify that there is actually no oil leaks. Um, we probably have another one somewhere, but hopefully nothing from the front case, front mains in, all that stuff. Um, we're all good down here on the crank sensor. Like I said, we have a spare in case that one does ever go bad, which they're not hard to replace. It's a 10 mil bolt right there and pull out, pop the new one in. Bada bing, bada boom, done. Yeah, so now we're at the point where we will get... Uh, as much of this thrown back on as possible before we have to go get Liam, and then we'll finish it up tonight. I'll let it sit overnight. Uh, we got to clean up the valve cover area up here so that we make sure we don't have any leaks up there as well. Feed the cooling system, throw this piece back in, and yeah, slow and steady. All right, so we have the engine at TDC. We're doing the valve adjustment now. So basically, engine at TDC, we can do all of number one, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, and none of number six. Then we'll rotate the engine over again. Number one will be tight. We'll be able to do exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, and both of number six. So that's what we're doing now. They are a little bit sloppy, but nothing super crazy. I don't think we're gonna notice much of a difference here, but I'm gonna go through and get it all done just because we're like we're already at this point, like it's all apart. If I were to throw everything back together and wanna do a valve adjustment another day, it would just be an absolute waste of time. So even though I don't feel the motivation to get it done, it's just one of those things. Just do it, get it over with, suck it up, and uh, we'll have a good running truck by the time this is done. All right, well, unfortunately, this gasket, somebody tried to repair before, which would explain why there is a valve cover leak. You can see right there some silicone. So we're not going to reuse this. I did notice that there is some wires under here uh, that are bare so that could also be an issue with the uh the injectors and whatnot so i got everything cleaned up we're gonna throw everything back together tonight minus the valve cover and i'm gonna get a valve cover gasket on order we did fix uh, the lower gasket was fine it's an o-ring one i just needed to reseat it and all that uh throw a little bit of silicone on it and uh we're good but unfortunately the uh the top one is not going to be salvageable and yeah i don't want to throw that back on there all right, here's where we are at. Everything is all but back together. We just need to put on the intercooler boots and the intake, fill it up with coolant, and she's good to go. I'm going to let it sit overnight and dry. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get that upper valve cover at some point, the uh, a Cummins one. And unfortunately, I can only get a Delco locally, and I'm not going to spend 170 bucks on a Delco one when I can just get OEM for like 180 It's like 10 bucks more. I'll just have to wait on it. So it might be a little bit of an oil leak for now, but like I said, I want it done right. That was smooth. Oh, well, that's way quieter. Oh, we blew a trans line. I made it to McDonald's and back, forgot my laptop, so decided to come back. I'm not gonna start it because I don't want to blow any more fluid everywhere, but it's all neutrals now. This poor transmission. Well, the next video was supposed to be us uh, going, doing something on Monday, but blew a trans line, which I know it'll be all right, but you can see right there, that one popped off. So 
I don't know what the deal is with that. Yeah, so trans fluid everywhere. Um, which, judging by the fluid and how dark it is, it was time to change it out anyway. So, I mean, whatever. It's just going to be basically a, uh, a trans flush at that point. That is pretty dark. I was hoping to do the trans fluid next time because we got to do a valve cover. So, I mean, this thing is just turning into an eternal money pit. The hood is oil on the bottom, trans fluid on the front. That just seems to be how it goes. Yeah, don't 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 be buying any of these older Dodges thinking uh, it's very. You can find some good reliable ones, but generally they're gonna be money pits. That's just how I'm seeing it. Well, there you go. I got it. Right there's the line. That sucks. That's the one that blew out on me. I was looking at the Mishimoto coolers too. I might end up buying one of them at some point. Rather than cleaning this one off, I didn't realize that they're like this thick. And they get rid of that clip there. Well, there she is put back on. I'm going to go see. Oh yeah, I see where it came off. That. Uh... Alright, so what we're thinking happened is maybe by twisting this over, maybe it twisted one of the clips out. Something like that, but... It's all clipped in, everything's good now. I've physically tried to pull it out. Everything's good, we're gonna fill this up with fluid on Monday, we are waiting on that, so I'll get the intercooler and all that stuff thrown back in, button everything up, throw the fluid in Monday, and then we are good. All right, so, he didn't take the rest of his scrap. Uh, it's all back together, we're gonna wait until Monday when the fluid comes in. Um, we're gonna let it do a run real quick. Make sure everything's good, and then we're going to pull the pan, and then we'll do a filter and a change and everything, because, I mean, the fluid is a little dark. So, we're also going to be looking into a Mishimoto Rad. I'm owed about 8500 bucks right now from the business. So, once all that stuff comes in, also this transfer case, still for sale, 500 bucks. Anybody wants it. Um, once all that money comes in, I'll uh, start upgrading some of the stuff. I just don't want to do it right now. All right, so on the other side, you can see uh, I just passed some of the drippage. There you go. So I am, you'll see over there. I'll show you exactly where this shit started. All right, so here is, you can see some of the streak right there. All of that's me. I think it was down here where I broke down. Yeah, right there at this mailbox. And there it is, all of that. All of that, the whole way down. I know some. the camera might not pick some of it up. There you go. Now it's, yep, there's a lot of it. Pretty consistent. I'm trying to figure out where it started. It's not so bad here. A little bit. Yeah, you can see it there. It's all, you can tell when I was giving it throttle and when I wasn't. This is the mountain. I don't see any on the mountain. Yeah, so I don't know. It must have just started on my road and nothing there now. All right, so we are getting back to work finally. We are fully opening the shop. We are finally going to start booking some loads. This month has been one of the most mentally challenging months that I could ever have. I basically took the entire month off. I did run two loads. But, and I've been working on the truck, you know, for content for you guys, but I've been specifically focusing on learning a new skill and learning something different because after the same thing, for 10 years I've been working on cars, for five years I've been work, five or six years I've been working on diesel trucks, and for about five years I've been doing Hot Shots since about 2018-ish. So about four years, a little over on that. Um, and unfortunately, I have now gone through the fact that the shop didn't make any money last month. We did about, I, I'd like to say this month, we probably about like $4,000. But all said and done, this month has cost me about ten dollars to $12,000. I've sold off a little bit of Bitcoin. I've spent everything in the cash reserves. So we have about 6,200 bucks left in uh, Bitcoin. And I think cash reserves are pretty much gone. But the shop is owed $7,300. I am physically owed $7,300. So I have one customer and then YouTube. So between those two coming in, that is my cash reserves now is at $7,300. And now we can get back to work and we're gonna be spending a lot more money and time in on this new skill. But at the same time, I do need to continue uh, working at the same time. So I need to start bringing in some money 
again. I wonder if we can't do 10K by the end of the month. Let's see. But if you guys need any work in the central Pennsylvania location or central Pennsylvania area, let me know. We are also going to be working on the website here soon. I put a couple of posts out on, uh, on my YouTube page, on Facebook and Instagram. So come January, we're going to be making some big changes to the website. And we're going to also be introducing a new feature where you guys all across America and Canada are able to physically pick out places that you've gotten your trucks worked on as a hotshot or truck driver. And I want you guys to be able to rate them, their speed of service, their quality of service, and all that stuff. I want you guys to be able to specifically put that on the website so that we can tell everybody how good or bad these places are. And if you're in an area and you need a spot and you need somebody trustworthy, one driver can say, hey, this is a great place. This other driver might be in that area. That's what we're gonna be trying to do. Also, I've gotten a ton of people asking me about phone calls and conversations of that sort. Generally, I go through and answer all these questions for free on Instagram or in my email, and any customer can call me using the number on the site to talk about um, anything to do with quotes or bringing their truck in for work or even offering a load up for Hotshot. Now, I am going to also be offering a phone conversation. I know Toe Piglet did it in the past, and I know a ton of other guys as well do it. Now, my shop rate is 95 an hour. We're gonna be charging not, not 95 an hour for a phone conversation. It's just gonna be one of those things. Um, we're trying to get a sheet together, so everything that you guys have asked me, I wanna be able to give consistent answers depending on your situation, whether you're financially, like your financial situation, on top of if you're mechanically inclined or not, just a bunch of different things. I wanna be able to give answers. And on top of that, we are also gonna be putting out the products and services that we use, affiliate products. We also have fuel savings. We have insurance companies that we work with. And we also have a company that we work with to get your business physically started. So it takes out all of the headache of all the bullshit that you're gonna have to deal with. So the company that set up mine is who I'll be working with that I can send off the information to you guys. And all of that stuff's gonna be available on the website. So stay tuned for that in January. Unfortunately now we do have to start working on this turd. Um, it's been sitting for a while, but we did get it fixed. So now we're gonna get the transmission filled up. I don't know. I need to see if they actually dropped off. Should be dropping off the transmission fluid. It should be over there somewhere. So we just need to fill that up. All right. So where we're at on this thing, you guys, I, I know this thing needs a good amount of stuff. I want to get an upgraded trans cooler. I want to get rid of the trans cooler on the side of the block because when they fail, they screw everything up. Uh, there's a lot of things. We are also looking into getting a built transmission. I told you guys before I could get a built tranny for about 1700 bucks, and I actually do have a guy that can build the transmission for me for next to nothing as long as I provide the parts. So it'll probably cost me about 11 1200 bucks to get the transmission built, torque converter, valve body, um, and all, like all the upgraded stuff that I need. It'll probably cost me about 1200 bucks because I know somebody. Um, he's not going to do that for you guys, but on top of that, we also have, I do want to get some upgraded window tint. I do need to do some internal work on the engine, but hopefully as of now, there is no leaks. Just a bunch of little things here and there that thing's going to need. We need to start changing fluids and shit. So unfortunately, I can't just go and throw $10,000 at this truck, especially with the last month, because it literally last month has cost me about $12,000 and a lot of the crypto that I had in, in reserves and shit. So... We're going to be doing every little service on this thing as the truck makes money. So we're going to be taking it out. Hopefully I'm going to start trying to book loads today or tomorrow. So we're going to go over that. We also have some goodies. Uh, I would like to color match. I, I know I finally went through and made the decision. I would like to color match that uh, grill. At some point, I would like to get a different bumper for it, front and rear, kind of like color match all of that. And then we'll just leave everything you know, like this. So there is going to be a color scheme to it and whatnot, but definitely needs to be a little darker on the tint. Uh, my wife has darker window tint on her truck and that's kind of, that's unacceptable. We can't have that. Other than that, that thing's sealed pretty good. Everything's good. We have everything mobile, everything, you know, this, this thing's ready to go. It's ready to work. So we'll see how it goes. Unfortunately, if the truck does blow up, we will, we'll see what ends up having to happen to it. But I really do like this truck. It's just kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest. All right, so the old whore has been sitting a couple days. I just put two quarts in it. Let the grid heater go. <clears throat> Ten 
engine's quiet as shit. I did a very good job with that valve adjustment. So you learn something new every day. I didn't know that this could go back into high idle in neutral. So that's awesome. All right, so I don't know how much I've actually lost, but I threw four quarts in total, two when it was sitting and two while it was sitting here in neutral. So I'm gonna let the thing get up to temp and we'll see where it's at. It would be cool if we didn't blow out that much. If I only blew out four quarts, that'd be pretty cool. So we're gonna do a whole filter swap and everything when we get back. And then I'm gonna call it, if this transmission lasts two months, I'm gonna get the transmission built. So like I said, I got a guy that can do that. I just need to get the parts and all that shit. I also wanna get a Mishimoto cooler. I know they're like 600 bucks. But for what we're doing, it'd be cool to have one of those. All right, so you can see the clips on both sides of the transmission line. So I'm hoping that we don't have any more issues because I'm gonna start trying to book something tonight. And with that being said, I vape, this has like a clip on the top, a clip on the bottom. I don't know how that broke loose, but I'm gonna do a test drive, we're gonna go home, I'm gonna pick my wife up, we're gonna pick her car up, and then we're gonna drive both back. So we'll see uh, in this little test drive if all is well. Uh, that was enough time last time to see if there was an issue, because I drove home, or I drove to McDonald's, then I drove home, realized I forgot my backpack, then I drove back to the shop, and on the way to the shop, that's where it happened.